while after I painted Articuno, I decided I wanted to paint the other legendary birds too. So here I go. I start this painting with a night sky, uh, which is made up from a mixture of the colors primary cyan, permanent blue violet, and a little bit of titanium white. I use a large size of a flat brush to blend the colors as smoothly as possible into each other. For the smoke and the ashes rising from the volcano, I mix naphthol red light and quinacridone rose uh, into the dark purple. Don't worry if at first the, these bright colors turn out very bland. This is actually what you want to happen because smoke and ashes are pretty bland of color. And after layering the naphthol red and the quinacridone rose, uh, the brightness functions as highlights and reflections in the smoke. So the first few layers you would want to blend very well into the background, while you can blend the newer layers way more roughly. I use Oxide Black with a little bit of Quinacridone Rose uh, for the Volgano. I add the pink color to give uh, more life to the Volcano. If you, if you just use plain black, it will end up looking very dull and flat and unnatural. So this warm color simply makes it look more natural also because you already used it in the smoke. Also, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this tutorial. But we're going further with the painting. I traced out the streams of lava coming out of the painting with gesso and I used pyrrol red, primary yellow and naphthol red light for the glowing ashes near and in the crater. Use the red colors further away from the heat source and the yellow color uh, closer to the heat source. I use the same colors plus titanium white uh, for the lava flowing out of the crater. Just like with the ashes, use uh, red for the lava that's further away from the heat source, in this case the crater, 
and switch and blend to orange and yellow uh, the closer you get to the heat source and you can preserve uh, titanium white for only the hottest like really the hottest parts of the lava Also, very sorry for my head popping up all the time. I just really like to stay close to my artworks. As I did with the lava streams, I marked out Moltres' silhouette, uh, I marked it out with gesso. I paint its beak with, and claws with a mixture of titanium white, oxide black and warm grey. For the base color of its body, I use a mixture of Naples Yellow Deep and Azo Yellow Lemon. For the shadowy parts, I mix burnt umber with Naples yellow deep. And just some advice in general, brown colors are great for creating shadow on yellow surfaces. For Moltres' flames, I use the same colors as I did for the lava. I don't mix them, 
but I use them alternately to create hotter and cooler parts um, in the flames on its head, tail and wings. So for now, I want to thank you for watching my video, uh, like and subscribe for more art videos, and I hope to see you next week.